Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 1 or 2 series, guys, with the 4 cylinder gasoline 2.0 liter engine known as N20 or N26, guys, and you're trying to find the total specs for your crankshaft bolt, because let's say you replace timing chain or anything that uh, involved removing the crankshaft bolt, guys, we'll explain. Uh, a little bit about that torque specs and what needs to be done now that same engine n20 and n26 engine guys has been used in bmw 1 series 2 series 3 series 5 series guys very popular engine so many of you couldn't find the information specifically for 1 and 2 series bmw that's why we decided to share it guys even though we're working on the 5 series the procedure should apply to that one as well now another thing guys uh, quick introduction every single car we get at the shop including this one here guys we make more than two three hundred videos why we take them apart guys because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can and we can make those videos and teach you guys how to fix your car on your own another thing guys if you need any special tools or parts that we'll be using anything for that job guys you can find the links in the description of the video below so please check it out this is guys a 2013 bmw 528i that we'll be demonstrating on we need to uh, do the torque specs on this one guys for the crankshaft bolt uh, simply because guys uh, we replaced the timing chain that failed only at 87,000 miles this is the timing chain guys in pieces guys you can see everything fell apart the car jump treated on the intake camshaft but I think we guys uh, uh, saved the engine this time we got lucky if you want to see the whole timing chain replacement video everything from start to finish guys we have it on our main channel how to repair guys this is our main channel how to repair guys check it out guys as you know we have three channels so we have information on each one of them now where is that bolt guys this down there this is your crankshaft bolt okay this right here every time you remove it you have to install new bolt guys and we'll have the link in the description of the video below you have to install new bolt because it's uh, uh you to talk about talk to you whatever it was called it stretches so you cannot reuse that bolt and according guys to our manual for our specific model but i would recommend to always consult your manual for your specific vehicle year model engine and all that stuff uh, we guys will share the specs for our engine here but you're going to need a special tool this is the tool guys it's called a flywheel holder tool we have a special video that explains how to use it just search for flywheel holder tool on bmw 1 and 2 series guys and uh, you will be able to find it guys on our on our page so uh, you install that on the flywheel through the transmission side it holds the flywheel we always have a person holding it so it doesn't drop guys and uh, once guys okay once uh, it's all all stuck there we can go ahead and get that bolt tie you're going to need a torque wrench that goes a little bit over 100 newton meters okay ours we have it set at 100 newton meters we went until the bolt clicked you hear that click you stop guys and then you're going to need super heavy duty tools guys this is the tools i'm talking about three quarter inch breaker bar guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below and we use the pipe a long pipe on top of that wrench okay and uh, step number one 100 newton meter step number two with that tool you need to go 270 degrees 270 degrees this is three quarter revolution guys one revolution one whole revolution is 360 because it's one circle pretty much 270 is three quarters okay three quarters so what we did we went three times 90 degrees guys and we got it tight so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time